time for my 2016 spring. Spring, 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 book haul. You know what I listened to to prep for this book haul? ACDC. Yeah, I'm back with box. I'm back with box. Yeah, it's spring, 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 spring. Yeah, it's spring, book haul, book haul, book haul. So I have a good load of books to show you today, and I have a buttload of exciting announcement stuff to tell you, and I also have more unboxings! Maybe I'll alternate books and announcements, so, you know, a little bit for everyone. First things first, I just want to let you know that our April book of the month right now is Second Chance Summer by Morgan Matson. This is the only Morgan Matson book that I have not read yet, except that her new book is almost out and I haven't read that one either. But in the, the I, you know what I mean. You don't know what book explosion is. It's a monthly book club where myself, Katie Tastic, and Jesse the Reader pick a book each month. We read it, we talk about it during the month, and we have a live show at the end of the month to talk about it with you guys. Yeah. Next, I have an event announcement. So coming up really soon is Yo West. Which, if you don't know, is a YA book festival in Santa Monica, California. And I'm gonna be there! On Saturday, April 29th at 11 a.m. in the morn, there is going to be a book explosion, booktube meetup in the tent. And we're gonna do Q&A, we're gonna play some games, we're gonna meet you guys. It's gonna be awesome! And then, on Sunday, April 30th, Kat, Jesse, and I are going to be on a panel with some other really cool people called Story Making on YouTube, which is at 12 p.m. I'm gonna leave links about Y'all West in the description below, along with everything else, like all the links are gonna be in there. It's gonna be a link party down in the description. This month, I'm working with Scholastic, and the first new book I have to show you today was sent to me by them, and it is The Star Touch Queen by Roshani Chakshi. This book is Gorgeous. It's about this 17 year old who I believe takes the throne, so she's a 17 year old queen, and it's a fantasy. And in this world, horoscopes play a prominent role, and reincarnation and mythology is important. And her horoscope has said that she will get caught in a marriage that would just lead to death and destruction, and her dad has forced her into like a political marriage. I've gotten the impression that it's chock full of magic and politics. Plus, this book is gorgeous and naked. It's blue. It's just. Oh, it's just a really pretty book. And it's been getting great reviews on Goodreads and Sergey Mass, Miss Sergey Mass blurbed it at the top. I was spellbound from the first line, a dazzling, sensuous feast of world building romance and mythology. It sounds really great. Next, another exciting announcement. On Thursday, May 5th, Sergey Mass is doing a Q&A signing event to celebrate the release of a second book in the Akatar series, A Court of Mist and Fury, at the Grove in Los Angeles, and I was asked to be the moderator at the event and I'm super super excited. I love Sarah J Mass's books. As you can tell like all her books are face out on my shelf because they're beautiful and I also love them. I'm gonna leave a link to the event in the description. Also working with Penguin this month and they sent me John Corey Whaley's new book Highly Illogical Behavior and I love the concept of this book. There's a 16 year old named Solomon and he's an agoraphobic. <laughs> and he hasn't left his house in three years. I'm pretty sure he leaves the house and he meets a girl and they both change each other's lives in positive ways. That is what I think this is gonna explore, like hiding from the world around you and how interacting with it can be really, really great. I love the cover. Bursting out into the Technicolor world. It's not that long of a book. It looks like I'm gonna be able to fly through it. It's 249 pages, wow. Yeah, no, it's really not that long. This book actually isn't out yet. It comes out May 10th. There'll be a link in the description if you wanna pre-order this baby. I'm excited to read it. Next, I have another event announcement, which is very, very exciting. BookCon is coming up! The biggest book conference of the year! This year, BookCon is in Chicago, a whole new city. I was just getting used to New York. Like, I finally knew all the places. I knew the hotels. I knew how, like, we're laid out. I know the Javits Center. And then we're like, mm, you know, we're gonna switch it. So you gotta learn it all over again, Christine. And there's going to be a book explosion booktube panel. Ah, I'm so excited. Last year, 
here. I got to meet so many of you guys in New York. And now I'm so excited to meet more of you guys in Chicago. And it's going to be at 5.30 on Saturday, May 14th at BookCon. I hope to see you there. I'll leave a link to BookCon tickets in the description. There's gonna be a ton of booktubers there and a ton of amazing authors there and celebrity authors. So much cool stuff at BookCon. The next two books I have to show you today were sent to me by Lindsay and her mom. They're been so nice, they sent me two books, Winterkill and Dark Thaw by Kate A. Borman. Thank you so much. I haven't actually heard much about these books. So they're very mysterious. Interesting. It also sounds very mysterious inside. Next, I have one last event announcement. All the events are coming. VidCon is coming. And the day before VidCon starts, Wednesday, June 22nd, Pat, Jesse, and I will be hosting an event at the Barnes & Noble in Orange, California. I'll leave a link in the description with more information. But we're hosting a book spot bookish cosplay bash. So we're encouraging you guys who can come to come dress as your favorite literary character. I'm so excited to dress up. I hope we get to meet a lot of you guys there. It's at 6 p.m. Barnes & Noble in Orange, California. More deets in the description. The next book I bought after I finished Me Before You by Jojo Moyes. I went on Amazon and got myself One Plus One by Jojo Moyes, which is supposedly another sweet contemporary. I don't want to know what it's about at all. I've heard really great things about this book and that's all I need. Next! Oh, this is really exciting because I love Morgan Madsen books. This came in the mail a few days ago and I think it comes out the first week in May. And that is The Unexpected Everything by Morgan Madsen. I absolutely love the way that Morgan Madsen's books look. Like I love the cover of Since You've Been Gone and of course that's one of the few book jackets that I've just lost. It's just gone because I took it off to protect it when I was reading it and I lost it! Every time I go to the bookstore and I see that book jacket I'm just like I'm so tempted to just it's just like the book jacket for Goblet of Fire. Like I've been in used bookshops before and when they have Goblet of Fire with a jacket on and I'm like, I really want to take that. But I don't! Hence my naked Goblet of Fire over there. If you ever see it covered, you'll know what happened. Evil Christine intervened. The unexpected everything. If you've seen the hard copy on Morgan's Instagram, it's gorgeous! Like not only is this gorgeous picture with the dogs. Like, I see this picture, I'm already like, oh my god, I'm so excited. Like, dogs, ice cream, ew! But it's like higher def, and it's like bigger, and when you open it up, there's a picture on the inside. Like, I can't wait to get the hard copy and show you guys. I don't even know what this is about. I don't know. I don't want to know what it's about. I'm not gonna read the back. I'm just gonna read this. The next book is another one that I just randomly got in the mail from Simon Schuster, and I, I just, I'm really interested in it. I usually don't put in the random books because I don't really Really have much interest in them. This book though, it's Sohoban Vivian. I can never say the name Sohoban. I know it's pronounced completely different than what I'm saying. Sho Shobin? So this book is called The Last Boy and Girl in the World and just the concept of the last boy and girl in the world sounds really great. I just immediately was like I'm interested in this. I'm really hoping I get the chance to read it. Now I have three more books. What happened is I went to Barnes and Noble and I came out with three books. The first book I got is gorgeously colored. Look how yellow it is! Oh, it's gonna look so good in the yellow section. You don't even know. I'm excited. Like, I might be more excited about the yellow coloring than I am about the book. I'm excited about the book. But the color, guys. This is Jesse Andrews' new, highly anticipated second novel. If you don't know, Jesse Andrews wrote me Early Dying Girl. If you don't know, I still haven't read that book, but I watched the movie, which Jesse also wrote the script for that, and I loved it. I'm really excited to hopefully read this book before there's a movie about it. I don't know what it's about. I know it's called The Haters and it has a cool, albeit kind of sad cover. Like this is clearly a sad face made from headphones and nozzles, but it's an interesting cover. And it kind of looks like that big yellow face from Nick Jr. Face? His name was Face. He looked kind of like that. Like there's a resemblance. I don't, I don't really want to know what it's about. Punk rock in book form. Oh, let me see what color is under this. <gasps> Ooh. Oh! Oh! This is cool! Oh god! This is gorgeous! And gorgeously covered as well. I mean... 
Wow. A plus bookmaking designing. The next book I got at Barnes and Noble is the third in a series that I still haven't started yet. But I have the first two books and they're both like really boldly colored. And you know how that gets me. And they're by Brenda Sanderson. I want to complete the set with the third book in the series, Calamity, which just looks really cool. Like a supernova explosion-y thing. The Reckoners, book three. I've heard really great things about this series. Just steal her. I think Cat Ashley Tuck read it and I watched some of her review before it got spoilery and uh, she really liked it. So I, I bought it and then I have a second one and now I have a third one. Haven't read any of them, but like there's some nice looking books. What's it look like naked? <gasps> Ooh, there's a big sea for Christine. This is cool. It's shiny on the sea. Oh, wow. Publishers are stepping up their undergarment book game, their naked book game. Books all used to be blah and now it's like, wow, all these books work out. You take off their shirt and they're gorgeous. And last but not least, but probably the weirdest book I have today. I don't know exactly why I bought this. I wanted it. We know I love US history and we know I also love Hamilton. I ordered the Hamilton and it hasn't come. I have Amazon Prime and hasn't come. US history one and two or so like some of my favorite courses in high school. So um, when I saw this beautiful constitution book, I was just like, it's so beautiful. I, ah, uh, I, I bought it. Am I ever gonna read this? No, but if I ever have to look something up in the Constitution, guess who has the Constitution on hand? Me. If if the internet crumbles away and you can never go on it again and we're in an apocalypse and you wanna look up the US Constitution and you're not near a Barnes and Noble where you can steal one, um, I have it, so don't come raiding my house for it, but if you want to kindly inquire about something in the Constitution when the world ends, I can look it up for you. Or for me. <gasps> you can't see, but carved into the top here, it says, oh, maybe you can see. We the people. I also have a Declaration of Independence poster. I never hung up, but sitting in my closet because when I went to Pennsylvania when I was 16, I was like, <gasps> I should get that. Like, it's in New Jersey. I should get it and hang it up here. Look how shiny it is! That is the end of the book section. Now, on to the unboxing. On! Boxing! On! Unboxing! On! So this month, I had the honor of working with Redbubble again, and they sent me three new things. Redbubble has some new t-shirt styles, which they did not have previously. And one in particular is like my favorite new style. Now, every time I order from Redbubble, I order the shirt in this relaxed fit style. They have an amazing selection of random weird stuff for anything that you're a fan of ever. And the shirt that I got is Crazy Poodle Lady. I love it. And it's kind of like a relaxed off the shoulder fit. Sometimes I wear it without something underneath it. Sometimes I wear like a tank under it. It's just super chill. If you don't know, I have a poodle and I love him so much. His name is Chandler Bing. He's the cutest puppy in the world. He's a model. He's super talented at his craft. If you'd like to see more modeling by Chandler, I'll leave my puppy style video in the description. Yes, I did make a video where I played a stylist and I styled my dog. And he looks gorgeous! I am so excited to wear this around town. The next thing that Redbubble sent me is actually one of Evie's designs. You know, Evie, she sent me those beautiful pillows last book haul. This is from her Redbubble shop, and it's a scarf, and it's beautiful, and I'm so glad I have this design in scarf form. And look, it's the Clockwork Angel! <gasps> it's so pretty. It is so pretty. It's so pretty. Look at it. Again, this is from Redbubble, and in the description I have a Redbubble link. Fashion, fat, 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 fashion. And the last Redbubble thing I have is in a box. This is where I get to actually unbox something. I need a fork, knife, scissors. Ooh! Ah! Oh. <gasps> it's a mug! And 
Redbubble used to have like only one size, you know, that like classic little size mug. And now they have a second size. It's like a new shape. I love it. And guess what this mug says? Where you lead, I will follow anywhere that you tell me to. If you need me, if you need me to be with you, I will follow. That's what it says, except it only says where you lead, I will follow. And I love it. If you don't know, that is the theme to Gilmore Girls, which I recorded a video for and is coming this week if it's not up yet. I love this mug. Again, Redbubble. So much amazing stuff on that website. Link is in the description. My mug collection just keeps getting cooler. That concludes the unboxing section. Now I have one more super exciting announcement. I have a new design coming to my shop, which is the PolandBananasShop.com if you haven't heard of it. I'm so excited for this new design. It was supposed to come in the mail today. Like my box of shirts was supposed to come in the mail so I could show it to you and model it. But that's gonna have to happen in a future video. But what did come in is something I've never sold before, but I'm gonna sell now because I would want this. It's a poster version of the shirt. The design says, there's a million books I haven't read, but just you wait! <gasps> There's a million books I haven't read, but just you wait, which if you don't know, does reference Hamilton. And I'm so excited to wear the shirt. This is what the shirt looks like. Here we go, here. You can find all this to order on my website. I hope you like it. There's a million books I haven't read, but just you wait! Just you wait! But just you wait! That is my book haul today. Oh, I haven't held anything yet. Wow, I almost forgot. There's a lot today. Let's see what I can do. I got it. I think this is it. Am I missing a book? I got everything. Look at this. Uh, this is really hurting my wrist. I think it's the constitution at the bottom. That one is like a brick. That one could be used double in the zombie apocalypse for killing zombies and for looking up constitutional things. For when, huh, huh, huh. Crazy poodle lady for the win! Yeah! Okay, let me see if I can hold everything else I have. Uh, uh, oh, no! 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 Well, there we go. That's my book haul! Thank you so much for watching, you guys. Thank you so much if you decide to buy one of my shirts. There are links for Redbubble! There are links for all the books I talked about! There are links to everything! Savage and Mass, Y'all West, BookCon, Barnes and Noble event before VidCon. I'm Christine. I make videos every Tuesday. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.